Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create an Arma 3 dedicated server with TADST. TADST is a really great user friendly uh, application used to edit the configuration files for Arma 2 and Arma 3 servers. First up, we're going to go get the Arma 3 server files. To do that, go to Steam, hover over Library, go to Tools, find Arma 3 server, and install the game. This will download and install the server files. In this case, I already have them, so I'm going to go to now. I'm going to go to Properties, click on Local Files, and Browse Local Files. This takes you to the Arma 3 server root directory, which can be found in C Drive, Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then Arma 3 server. Now, copy all these folders, go to your desktop, create a new folder for your server. I'm going to name it Arma 3 Server. Open that and paste those folders in there. This can take a couple of minutes and a couple of seconds depending on your storage speed. Now that all the files have been moved across, we can go ahead and go to the Armaholic TADST page where we can download TADST. A link can be found in the, in the description for this. Go all the way down to the bottom, click to download, and it will download to your downloads folder. Open the folder, extract it, open the file, copy, and put it in the folder we made in the desktop. Cool, so now I've got TADST in with the server files, you can start TADST. This will bring up this window, this is TADST, and this is what is used to configure the server files. You can set the name here. For this example, I'm going to use the name test server. I'm not going to set a password. I'll set my admin password as fluffy bunnies. It can be whatever you want. Port, by default it's 2302. You can set it to whatever you want as long as it's not being used by another application. Um, just know that you need to port for 2302 plus th the 3 above it. So 2302, 2303, 2304, 2305. This, the reason for this can be seen here by opening this box. Max players, the amount of players you want on your server. I want persistent battlefield and auto initialization for the uh, mission file. Not going to worry about server logging or headless clients. I want Von. I turn up the uh, voice over network. This is completely optional. Let's do 11. If I want to disable it, you can select that to disable it. All the parameters, don't worry about that. That's basically just the settings you've put up here. Extra parameters are settings that you can't edit up here. You can put them in here. Server file, basically you have to tell TADST where this Arma 3 server application is. We'll just do that there. That's this. It needs to know where this is. Profile is basically, you can save all the settings you've set here. It will save by default. Turn off tooltips. Basically, it's all very self-explanatory here. Rules, we'll go kick duplicates and battle eye. Everything else is very self-explanatory. You can set that if you want. We will disable voting. This allows people to vote themselves admin and vote kick people. We don't want that. Server message of the day, you can set that to what it, whatever uh, you want. Set that to welcome to the server. Parameters and server file, that stays the same. Mission, this is where you put the mission file in. Now, in this example, I'm not going to put a mission file in because it's just a tutorial on how to set up TADST. But if you did have a mission file, it would go in the MP missions folder and then you would put your mission file in here, which is a PBO file. And that will then show up here, you select that and activate it. Same with mods, if you had a mod or mods, you would put them in this root directory and they would appear here and you would activate them. Difficulty, you can change all these settings here. We're not going to. Performance, you can adjust the performance of your server here, all very self-explanatory. Um, and terrain, you can change your view distance and the terrain grid. Server-side scripting, quite advanced stuff, probably wouldn't worry about that sort of thing. 
We can go ahead now and save all the settings that we have. Yes. And click launch. Now what's going to happen now is it's going to load the Armor 3 server and then load the settings to that server. And then it's going to attempt to load the mission file. But because we don't have a mission file, you won't be able to join it. It's basically, it's going to be stuck on like initialization loop. So this is how you start an Armor 3 server. Thank you for watching. Uh, you'll see it load just here. Dedicated host has been created. Obviously it's not going to load the mission file because there isn't one in there. So battle I server updated, initialized, the host has been created, basically the server is being hosted and it's been hosted on port 2302. That's all done. So if you did have a mission file, it would say reading the mission file in here and then mission file initialized. Anyway, that's how to set up an Armour 3 server. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you find this useful. Um, have a good day.